everybody wants to find someone to blame in the Kevin Durant Achilles injury. Um, people are quoting the fact that the doctors understood that there'll be a risk of re-injury. The doctors apparently told Steve Kerr and Bob Myers and independent doctors as well. So team doctors and also his independent doctors and his agent and everything so that's it, told him the worst that can happen is he re-injure your calf. You can't re-injure a calf any further than what it is because it's a calf strain. They ran MRIs, checked the Achilles and everything like that. Um, initially, when you see the injury and he gets hurt, he kind of asked P.J. Tucker, did you kick me? That's like one of the key uh, indicators of an Achilles uh, tendon rupture. You always, everybody says the same thing. Even when I was playing pickup, one of the guys that I played with, he asked me if I kicked him after he had ruptured his Achilles. And I didn't kick him at all. Nobody kicked him. So that's just that's just like the, the main um, feature of, of it. You hear something pop, and then the next question is, who kicked me? That's just the bottom line. But that being said, when you look at how Kevin Durant grabbed him his calf uh, against the Houston Rockets in Game 5 versus how he grabbed around the uh, ankle in Game 5. Wow, this is Game 5 in back-to-back -back game, back games. You could tell that it was two different injuries. Now, people, and I love how everybody is now a, a doctor because they Googled calf injuries, calf strains. You start, all of a sudden, you're starting to hear all these players who had calf strains before. Hey, the doctor told me that it could hurt my Achilles. Like, all these, you know, from all these veterans on TV, you know, you know, talking their talk. It's funny how all of a sudden now they're they're an MD. You know, it's funny because cause the thing is, it's like I agree with them partially. Like, okay, Durant probably shouldn't have played if he didn't get any reps, any practice, at least a, a week of practice. But people have to understand this. Doctors, the number one thing about doctors that a lot of people don't really understand, they're not sticking their neck out for anybody. Even if they're getting paid handsomely, a malpractice lawsuit, it doesn't look good for them. Even if they have insurance, if they intentionally sent Kevin Durant out there knowing that he had an Achilles rupture or or an Achilles tendon issue, and he finds out or medical staff or there's a report done on it much later and they find out, they're opening themselves up for basically a half a billion dollar lawsuit. They're, they wouldn't do anything that stupid. They're not that dumb. Think about your physician. Any. Anything that any treatments that they would recommend or not recommend, they say I recommend. They don't say full fledged that's gonna heal you or anything like that. His mother, his agent, Steve Kerr, Bob Meyer, all the doctors, they all said they they were all on the same page regarding this injury. So they all essentially knew the risk of hey, he could injure something, which is we think his calf. I personally and it sounds good. Initially, when you're listening to everybody, like, he shouldn't have been out there. You're right there along with him. You you got your pitchfork. You're like, somebody's got to burn for this. He shouldn't have gone out there. The Warriors are to blame. This team, this guy's to blame. The doctor's to blame. Steve Kerr's to blame. Bob Myers to blame. But the thing is, is like, guys, you got to understand. the credit. You got to look at the credibility of who's saying it. And you have to look at why... Would they intentionally injure the guy if they were trying to bring him back for the next year anyway? If they knew that, hey, he might come back next year and he has an Achilles tear. Oh, we're packing it up. He's coming back next year anyway. We'll lose this championship. Doesn't matter. You know, we won't three-peat, whatever the case is. But we'll have him for next year and the years to come or whatever the case is. So now the insidious nature of people comes out and it's like, well, they ran him into the ground on purpose. So he won't be able to sign with the other team or when he leaves them, they, they've already used them up or whatever the case is. Guys, I'm I'm telling you one thing here for certain. I think those guys will, will rather lose than injure and sacri use somebody as a sacrificial lamb. And then on top of that, face a lawsuit going forward. You get what I'm saying? Like, Because KD, if, if word comes out like later on, like, hey, they, they knew about his the Achilles rupture and et, et cetera, et cetera then what can happen is he can say, you know what, CBA, light him up. We're going to go after him. I want two, $300 million off rip because I was misdiagnosed. And that goes to the doctors, to the team, to everybody. He's giving misinformation. So I, 
I don't think they intentionally did anything. I I just think that, honestly speaking, it could have been a freak accident if you really think about it because they say that a calf strain and Achilles injury have nothing to do with each other. Now, some people feel that, and see, this is what I mean about Google. You, you, you've been a Google doctor and everything like that. Some people feel that the Achilles if it's weak or compromised, it hurts your kinetic chain. Put it more strain. Uh, what's the word? Strain on your Achilles. Therefore, you're able. You're liable to injure it a lot more. That makes sense. But if there's strain on your calf, that means you're able. You're liable to hurt your knee more. You're, just, you're liable to hurt your quad. You, you're liable. If it messes up your whole kinetic chain, that's like me telling you, if you have a wisdom tooth hurting, hurting. It could lead to sinus headaches. It, 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 it can lead to sinus headaches, but it, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to lead to sinus headaches. So I think that's what everybody has to really understand here. It's Medicine is not an exact science. Even if they, I mean, it is a science, but medicine is not all the end all be all. Like a doctor can't tell you the very day this is going to happen or that's going to happen or the even the very day when your child is going to be born. Sometimes that gets moved along. Sometimes it gets pushed back or whatever the case is. They only can give you a window, percentages, and stuff like that. To me, though, what I would say is if if anybody's to really blame, I think the media has to take some blame in this in regard as well. The whole entire time he was injured, all we were saying was, Oh, he's just he's just putting it on because he doesn't want to stay with the team. He wants to save himself for free agency. He comes back to play the very night. I remember this. Watching him play, some people were like, he's dunking, he's doing this. So he was he really even hurt? Was he hurt? Is it all just a game or whatever the case is? Then the very same people that are watching him play, they're like, okay, yeah, he's here. Okay, now we're going to get a comeback, whatever the case is. The same people that are cheering him, applauding him coming back, had no... He's initially, all watch all the reports. Nobody had any kind of real reservation besides Jalen Rose. I'll give Jalen Rose that. He had reservations about KD coming back. Everybody else was like, okay, KD's back. It's, it's going to it's gonna be crazy. Those same people that were excited for KD to come back are trying to condemn him coming back now. It's like we can't have it both ways. The media can't have it both ways. You can't snipe somebody saying that they're preserving themselves. Then when they come into court, you're saying that they were faking an injury. And then the whole time that he got injured, people were like, well, he's not on the bench. That was another story. He's not on the bench, and, and people are frustrated. Warriors are frustrated about his injury. All these stories are leaking out. And then the same people that put all these stories out are now trying to, like, have his back and say they feel sorry for him, et cetera, et cetera. If, if anything, the, the doctors, the media, KD's decision, everything holds up. All, needs to be held accountable, but media does as well. They would put so many, so many stories were put out there that essentially it put a lot of pressure on him to come out and play. And when he played, it didn't seem like it was anything wrong with anything. He fell on the ground a couple times, blocking shots, shooting shots. He he was dunking. He was hopping up and down. Could it, could, could it be that he overexerted himself during the warmups? Could it be that he didn't get enough practice time? It could be a lot of those things. But the thing is, we'll never know 100%. But what I do know is, some of the media, they need to take accountability for this too. Because all these stories that were coming out about him, he sold his house in California, he bought a house in New York, he's going, definitely going to the Knicks. All this stuff, and we didn't even respect the process of the finals. Like, the finals is like a foregone conclusion. Nobody even really cared like about what was going on with Kawhi and... The Raptors for the first time win a championship. Like this, this championship is really gonna be if the Raptors win tonight, it's gonna be marred by an asterisk because the the only thing we're talking about is KD and everything like that. So we really didn't even give the finals proper respect, and the ratings proved that some of the lowest ratings in over 10, 20 years. So that being said, it's like all these stories that came out fueled some of these professionals, which KD is included, he's a professional basketball player, to make a decision to say, hey, I'm going to put myself out there. Uh, I might not be 100%, but I'm 70 80%, 70%. I could do something to help my team win. And if none of these stories are like, everybody wasn't hell-bent on trying to tear apart this team, this nucleus, KD would have been like, all right, and, and let's just say he was going to come back. 
he would be like, you know what? I'm shutting it down. We'll be back next year. I, I, sorry, guys, I can't do it, whatever. The, or the medical staff would be like, no, it's not that big of a deal, whatever the case is, because you're coming back anyway. But now there's going to be a story, just off me saying that, well, it'll be a story like, well, the fact that he came to play proves that he just wanted to do one last hurrah because he wasn't coming back. Like It's always a different kind of story fueling these athletes. And the, the, the amount of pressure, and he sees the pressure because he's responding to everything on Twitter, Instagram. He responds to everything. He sees everything. So that fueled some of his decision as well. But what I'm going to say about, to me, like when I look at everything, the doctors, professionals, they say calf injury and Achilles aren't linked. And people can say, well, that's a lie or whatever the case is. But I'm going to caution you about saying stuff like what they're saying is a lie. Because John Wall tore his Achilles in his house. He, was, he fell down in his house and he tore his Achilles. Are we blaming his house for for that? Are we blaming uh, the steps, the, the whatever he slipped on? Are we blaming John Wall? For, it's an accident. Some Sometimes certain things are an accident. You know, when you play sports... Anywhere you, you risk an injury, you know. I was when we play. I told you we play. I played pickup with a guy who tore his Achilles. Regular pickup. It wasn't like we were going hundred percent nothing, or it's not like he was overweight or we had trainers. Nothing. He, he it was an accident. He tore his non-contact tore his Achilles. So some of these things we can't necessarily predict. Like John Wall slipping in his home, falling, and he tore his Achilles. You can't predict. Kevin Durant getting all this medical advice and expertise, people telling him, hey, one is not linked to the other. Worst thing happened is, you know what I'm saying, you you, you re-injure your calf. He couldn't prepare for his Achilles to, to rupture. No way. <laughs> Just like the same thing, like, like I told you before, when you have a wisdom tooth ailment, it could lead to you have a sinus um, attack. So the doctor can't necessarily prepare. He can say that's one of the could be one of the causes, but it's not a hundred percent guaranteed. So, I, and this is where a, an athlete can't win. One moment we're telling them, "Hey, you need to play. You need to show up. These guys need you. The guys are saying they need you. You show up, you get hurt. You shouldn't have played. You shouldn't have did this." But, but these are the same guys that were Monday, Tuesday last week saying they need KD to win. KD has to show up. He has to put whatever aside and show up. He does put whatever aside and shows up and gets hurt. Oh, he shouldn't have played. The, it's it's very it's too hypocritical. It's just I think the doctors, everybody takes you know their their chunk of the blame or whatever the case is. But also the media, man. The media has to take you know, myself included. If I said anything to make it insinuate like KD and it was a KD against the Warriors, or whatever. Him playing shows you how much he was there for his team. Regardless of what everybody thinks or whatever the case is. So everybody has to take a share of the blame, including those that are criticizing him for his injury. Who's Junction? Where Hoops Meets Hoopla. Like, comment, subscribe.